Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. I'm getting awesome! You're getting awesome! We're getting awesome! Yeah, that's what I said now! We have a lot of buddies. You can hear them all out there. It's 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 crazy. We are. Hey, we have fans. We have fans. It's grand. It's grand. We are here live at the your 16 inch room fans. That's right. 30 inch box fans. There you go. There you go. Uh, this live is from Home Depot. Uh, we, no, we're not at Home Depot. No, we're not. That's the wrong. No, we're not advertising them this week. Uh, we are live at the Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn, right downtown in Pittsburgh, PA. That's one. That's one. That's one, one, down. One, down. one down. One down. Sharp um, Edge Bistro. Sharp Edge. Oh, hey. Yeah, Rob, of course, Rob De La Creta oh, hey. is with me. Hey, Hi. how's it going? I'm here on the internet. Also here in person. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, with us here on the panel is Shashi of ShashiSays.net. How you doing? Oh, you're looking at you're the screen there, all the time. Oh, wrong camera. There you go. <laughs> I see myself there on the camera. That's, that's not happening. That's not, that, that camera it is died. happening. That, that is not. That camera does not exist. It's a myth. I have a word for you, sir. Yeah, yeah. we're not allowed to. S- I well, know. We might not need to. Yeah. I'm not. Okay. Um, I have a word for you. You have a word for me. Is yeah. is it uh, suitable for public access? No. No. <laughs> then that's our standard. Right. That's our standard. But I have um, a word for you. But we are here. This is the five year anniversary party for Wrestling Mayhem show. There's a few brave souls that uh, brave the the blizzard that's happening out there. There's a lot of white um, No, no. Blizzard. Blizzard. It's three inches of snow. Three inches of snow, is that it? Yeah, we're supposed to get one to three tonight. Yeah. Supposed to, and what we actually supposed received, to. I think, yeah. are two different things at this point. Fine. Uh, yeah, there isn't that much of the nasty stuff out there. Yeah, not yeah. Really. It's kind of rough in Mount Lebanon. They're, they're not doing anything about those hills. It's a good day to own a super. When I went through, so. I'm, um, I'm just dropping all kinds of brand names. Hey, there you go. Sharp Bones. Sennheiser. What do you Sharp Edge. Sennheiser. Amazing. Sharp Edge. Sharp. I don't know. You yeah. want to check the tag for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, what, what's, what is he rocking over there? What is that? I don't what know. It's made out of acrylic. Where'd you get that? Did this you get that 100% from acrylic. Yeah. Why can't I see? Is that flammable? Can we find out? X9? X9. <laughs> you got that from Kohl's, didn't you? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, Two Kohl's, brand names Kohl's in one is shot. A good place. Nice. I'm a professional. Kohl's is good stuff, man. Um, this episode is entitled The One in Which We name every brand. I got two more brands for you. Verizon, iPhone. I have another word for you yeah? that I can't say. Uh, okay, okay. So but I told you. I told you. Back to you told news. me. You told that me. That was a slick intro. And you that was, uh, I'm trying to get to the, the important part. In. Oh, first, let's give a shout out to Scott, our waiter. Hey, what's how's it going? Yay. Everybody tip well, tip well. Um, but yeah, the at Brian, Sharp Edge at Bistro. Shop Edge Bistro Shop on Edge. Penn Avenue. That doesn't count because yes. you said it wrong. Right. Deal. He he hooked me up. He, so, he hooked you up. He hooked me up. Uh, but yeah, the big news today: the uh, the Verizon iPhone. Verizon iPhone. You're, oh, you're excited for it? No, not no, at not at all. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. You know why I'm excited? Because we can, we get to stop rumoring about it. You know why I'm excited? What's that? Because you get to wait until somebody's really excitedly downloading something and then call their phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm downloading the sweet app. Awesome. Hey, how's it going? How's that download? Oh, wait, yeah. it stopped because you're on CDMA and it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, they had a big Apple-like event in New York City, sure which did. makes it less Apple-like being in New York City. Yeah. Um, hey. No, what? Hey, hey, the, sorry. It's not somebody. your fault. Hey, it's not, you know, you're really from Poughkeepsie, not the Bronx. <laughs> yes, Pooh. Did I say it right? Poughkeepsie. No. Poughkeepsie. Yeah, it's Poughkeepsie. Po- 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 All right. Po- We're not po- a geography show. Po- We're going to keep calling it Pooh, though. Poughkeepsie. Po- po- <laughs> We're going to keep calling it Poughkeepsie. Po- That's unfortunate. <laughs> we could. Um, um, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, there's some trade offs. You know, yeah, it's yeah. going to be uh, February 10th. They're yeah, going to release yeah. it. Uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know if just Verizon. 
customers can pre-order it or if it's open to everybody. What do you mean? It, it wasn't entirely clear. For I think it's open to everybody. It is open to everybody. I believe so. Uh, same pricing, 199 for a 16 gigabyte, 32 mm -hmm. gigabyte at 299 so you're not going to get any deals there. Yeah. Um, the phone itself is identical, except for the fact that instead of having a um, GSM chip, it has a CDMA chip. And it is, like I said earlier, there's nothing special about the CDMA chip. So um, you can't, It's the lesser technology. You can't talk and download it. Well, yeah, the thing that, is that's, that, that's the big thing. It's a really good signal. So in the in the few countries that provide CDMA, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it is the older so, technology, so it has issues like the fact that you cannot access data and talk on the phone at the same time. Exactly. Um, but one thing they do get is uh, wireless hotspot. Wireless hotspot. Which is but, been, but if you're using the hotspot and somebody calls your phone, all hotspots die. So you can have up to five computers connected to this thing. Uh, somebody the, uh, calls you. Bluetooth. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. Yeah. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. Yes. Somebody calls, all their connections have died. So, say I'm using my phone to stream this because we're doing this remotely. Not that we're doing this here. Yeah. Uh, some fine Wi-Fi provided by the Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, so, somebody calls me in the middle of the show because they're lost, yes. like right. uh, Jimmy DeMarco and Chess Flex were just there. Sure did. They're lost Ruins downtown. the show. Ruins the show. We just Done. went off air. Yep. That's it. Isn't that funny? That's it. Yeah. See, I was unaware of it's, this. Fact. It's 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 like a combustion engine, and you still have to feed the horse. Like it's just, like, <laughs> it's kind of silly. <laughs> so, like gas and carrots. Okay. Because okay. of you, yeah. now, yeah. I'm gonna make a list. Of, me? No, Rob. Yeah, because of Rob. Because yeah, because of me. Rob. Okay. And him telling me this. Okay. I'm now gonna make a list of every Verizon user I know <laughs> who buys an iPhone. And I'm gonna wait until just they're call sending them in. incessantly. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, hey, what's up? Is um, are you downloading anything? <laughs> is texting uh, data or, or voice? Texting. What is that considered? Is that data? It should be data. But... Well, it's a different thing because like I've turned off the cellular data on my phone and still been able to do text messages. It's a different level of data that costs way more for some reason. <laughs> because it's a different infrastructure than the rest. Of I don't. Everything. I mean, I'm not big on using the phone to talk to people, but I yeah. get a lot of text messages. Okay. And man, would I hate the planet if every text message I got. <laughs> Does anybody have a Verizon phone, phone here? Yeah. Hey, oh, you. Oh, hey. No, no. Wow. You, well, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, this is your. Okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we apologize, for Verizon. Uh, yes. But no, no. Okay. <laughs> when you're on a call, can you receive a text message? I know a lot of yes. you on. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. So that works. Not picture. Answer. Not pictures. Oh, right. MMS is a different thing. Right. It is data. MMS yeah, because actually, when I turn on the cell data, so the other day, if you receive a picture message, yes, it will interrupt your download. <laughs> no, it might be just data. Anybody here take the iPhone? No. What? No one. Yeah. Nobody. Hey, you got a Droid. Know. You got a Droid. I know you got. I, you I just bought know. an iPod Touch because you have a Verizon phone. Yes. So. What what does the iPhone announcement do for you? Oh, the I delay on Justin TV is incredible. Oh, I'm sorry. Talking. I don't want to lose service. Oh, you, you don't want to lose service in your city? Yeah, because I know all my I friends with excited. iPhones can't get service at like Yankee wow. Stadium. Yeah, there you go. Or something like that. I don't want all that to happen. happen. There you go. There you go. And I I've seen it. We we sat I'm in New York City. Like like what are you guys talking about? Tactical. Sorry. <laughs> what are you? About? <laughs> like two conversations happening. Here. Quick side note. Okay. Angry Birds coming to a board game this year. We're going to bring that up. <laughs> and I don't like board games. I do believe there's a physical launcher for Angry Birds. Yeah, no, yeah, it's right here. Yeah. So, yeah. like, like I, I know uh, I know on one show they were talking about, like, I'd probably be shooting that at my, at my sister. It's so messy, you know. you're going to lose the pieces. Yeah. You've got yeah. it on your iPad. It's like Mousetrap. And it's on the Mac now, too, because of the App Store. It is on the Mac, the App Store. You're going right through the stories. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> it's going to be a ten-minute show yes. from... Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn. It's only um, fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. Yeah. Fifteen dollars wasted. Fifteen dollars is more if you, than if you bought the iPad, iPhone, and Mac App Store version of that all together. Hey, and you, you won't lose what? any pieces, and nobody's gonna choke on them. Yeah, exactly. Dave, you're not gonna get. Dave, are you gonna anything? choke on? I might try to bite a bird Gravity. or a pig. I don't like the the pigs are my pigs. enemy. They're my as a bird, you know. The pigs are my sworn enemy. So you're gonna eat a plastic pig? I might try to eat a plastic pig. Is all I'm saying. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> what? It's a choking hazard. It is a choking hazard. Yeah. I mean, children I'm, under three they, beware. We're adults. <laughs> you're telling me you're gonna try to eat a plastic pig? Pork is delicious. It's plastic! I, could I got it. Like delusional. Bacon. There you go. It smells like bacon. Yeah. That'd wow. be a feature. If it is bacon flavored, I can guarantee I will choke on it. <laughs> I will suck on a game piece 
and somebody <laughs> will get my attention. <laughs> Alright, we gotta move on. Yes, yes please. <laughs> we gotta move on. I'm sorry. What, I would choke on the game piece and somebody will get my attention? Uh, no, I, I would suck on the game piece, is yeah. what I said. We gotta move on. I can't. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so I'm thinking anyway, that one. Um, <laughs> we gotta. Yeah, so Verizon iPhone, it's the exact same thing. Um, uh, I, I really hope that a lot of people jump ship from AT&T just so my service increases in quality. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's with me. Blanco's with yeah. us. Because I have, I have, I know there are a lot of people in New York City and San Francisco, the highly yeah. concentrated areas, they have a lot of problems and I understand that. But where we are here, it's not that big of a problem. So I'm totally fine sticking with AT&T. And yeah. I, I got grandfathered into the unlimited plan. And if you uh, sign up under Verizon, they call it unlimited, there's a five gig CAC. That's the same as us though, isn't it? Because I've always the heard the grandfathered that unlimited the grandfather really have a a cat. Fantastic. Yeah. So they have what? How long since you've had? If you've had it since Edge or something, or I bought mine. I bought into the uh, the three G. Okay. Out, so. Okay. All right, that, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and and I kind of like the multitask. Like I I've yeah. been on headphones yeah. with, with my father yeah. and been like. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me check that out for you, Dad. Right. Yeah, I'm free to come oh, yeah. on that weekend. The other thing to consider about CDMA, like all jokes aside, about like calling your friends while they're trying to download something, mm -hmm. um, it has multitasking, which is cool, but say you have Pandora running in the background. Sorry, I can't do that. You want to make out? Wait, really? If another if another app tries to pull it, you're going to lose your pen, Pandora stream. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to lose everything. So, so we have a crippled iPhone. It, it, I mean, it is a crippled iPhone, but it, and the response to that, um, <coughs> what's his face from Verizon? I can't ever remember his name. Uh, something with an L or H. Oh, was it? Was it? Uh, they will get the Ver the Verizon experience. Ooh, the Verizon experience, the, which means uh, also it looks like there's no like implanted Verizon stuff from the screenshots yeah. they show. Yeah, there's, there's no which, gun contact. Which I would really, I would really expect that yeah, they wouldn't that. have. Um, but basically, somebody uh, when they did the Q and A, somebody asked like, "Hey, so it seems like this is kind of a crippled iPhone. Uh, what do you have to say about that?" And they basically said, "We were basically tired of uh, how many times can I say basically about something? <laughs> basically, basically, basically." Um, yeah, I was reading that I would suck in the plastic dick. <laughs> um, that they were tired of answering the question of when is Verizon going to get the. Uh, when were they going to get the iPhone? So, and also that's why it does not have any 4G, LTE, anything. Yes, uh, the, what the answer was, we rather get it out because the customers mm -hmm. want it than wait yeah. for the technology to be ready. And this is going to tie in with um, what we talked about last week where they're killing mm -hmm. the new every two idea, which mm -hmm. they didn't talk about at all. Mm -hmm. Um, because you would think, like, if this was traditional, you would think, like, well, if you hook people now, mm -hmm. LTE finishes a launch by the end of 2011. Yep. Then the people who would benefit from an LTE iPhone are going to be stuck in a contract and not be able to buy. You just, like, squandered a bunch of profit. Mm -hmm. But without the new every two, then maybe not. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let, let's roll that over. Speaking of people stuck in a contract, we we mentioned before what happens with the Samsung Tab, the Sam, Samsung Tab, yeah, yes, Excuse Samsung me. Tab. Um, I had to set one of those up today. Yes, I one of those up at work today. For Citrix. That's wow. It was bad. It was bad. Cisco Telecom. And I, I hated it. Do they know that they're not getting three Yes. Yeah. And they're stuck in a two-year contract. Right. Uh, of course, the. Uh, uh, the big news of that out of CES, uh, Honeycomb 3.0 for Android mm. will require a dual core processor yeah. in a tablet. Yeah, well, dual core uh, at CES this week. Dual core phones. That's a dual thing. core phones. The super yeah. phone, I think they're calling it. Yeah, the super phone. It's like a smartphone super up to phones. the super There you go. Phone, which is basically born out of um, everything we've been talking about in reference to uh, feature phones being replaced by low level smartphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically mm -hmm. things we've been talking about for. We ever talk about yes yeah. um so uh and, and, and nobody everybody had a 3.0 tablet but couldn't show 3.0 running on it most of it was a video demo yep. that i can't figure out how the ui works from it right, right, right. looks it looks great i don't know how to use it speaking of tablets blackberry playbook blackberry playbook i've been hearing really good things about it You're having enunciation issues playbook <laughs> It's playbook. the cold, I swear. Um, yeah, so even though we dissed it a whole lot and nobody really expected them to have a physical running product, they had one at CES uh, running Qunix. Yeah. And word is that it's really, really snappy. And I mean, when I when I ran Qunix back in the day on a 466 with 128 megs of RAM, it was pretty snappy and really beautiful. But um, apparently it's doing really well in the playbook, so a lot of people feel that it is, like, 
example compared to the uh, Samsung tablet and the iPad, it is the fastest tablet you can get your hands on. For, for the people that aren't familiar, like me, mm -hmm. uh, what, what is this operating system like real Unix? quick? Um, it's basically a... It's not necessarily a flavor of Linux. Mm -hmm. It was more uh, initially released as like a commercial adaptation of Unix with a very pretty operating system. Can I have the password um, for this? I'm sorry to interrupt. I don't know. Um, I never I, I, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Text it to me. Well, All right. people on AwesomeCast Twitter have questions, apparently. Oh, yeah? I, so I need to log into the can, AwesomeCast page. I can probably... Uh, I'll give you that. Okay. Um, well, Thank you. And then going on a little bit, uh, the Mac App Store, like you mentioned, launched yep. during CES. Yep. Uh, I got to check it out. Um, it's a replacement for Steam for some games for me. Um, yes. Like uh, the Penny Arcade game was only four bucks on it. Um, Angry Birds is on it, like we mentioned. Yeah, Angry Birds premiere launch on the Mac, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. which means I can now play Angry Birds on my TV. I have a Mac that on my while, TV we're, while we're talking yeah. about playing Angry Birds, on TVs. Yes. Apparently you can use the PS3 to play Angry Birds. Really? Which I think is terrible. How? Yeah, um, I don't know. Apparently it's available on PS3 somehow. I don't know because I wouldn't buy a PS3. No, I'm not aware of that. Touch no. a PS3. But someone on my Twitter feed husband has spent the last three days playing Angry Birds. Yeah, I don't know anything about not, that. Not only on their PS3, but they have a 40... Two inch 3D television that they're using to play Angry Birds. Wow, that's 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 I'm, I'm speechless. It's overkill. I haven't played Angry Birds in a while. The people that I uh, currently work with are uh, just now discovering Angry Birds, and it's oh yeah, it's spreading like a disease <laughs> through through your workplace. Yeah, you see like managers off in a corner <laughs> playing <laughs> Angry Birds. Like, don't look at me. I'm I'm busy sending invoices. I, I know uh, Word, 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 Words with Friends has been rampant on the barista oh, yeah. set this past week. Yes, yes yeah. it has. That was keeping me busy between takes. And I know that's supposed to be picking up on Android, so uh, welcome sure. to the party soon, Chachi. I wonder if that's well, going to be Well, I have any words now. No, no, Words with Friends. Oh, Words with Friends. Yeah, yeah, is, there a, is there a desktop Words with Friends? In a the, desktop the Words with Friends? Not that I'm aware of, no. There should be. There should be. I, I, I bet you there's one coming be. soon, yeah. and the addiction will rise. Yes. So, um, hello, new people. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So, um, let's see. What else happened here uh, from CES we, and such? Well, you got something? Cover uh, the Windows Phone 7. What about it? What about it? Apparently it uses tons of 3G data. Did we talk oh, about this last week? We didn't. Uh, even when connected to Wi-Fi? Like we did talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or um, when idle. Yeah, apparently, the, uh, I know Paul Thorat over at Super Cypher Windows is talking about if you have a Windows Phone 7. Did I have that in the right order? Windows yeah. 7 Phone? I don't Windows know. Phone yeah, 7. Windows Phone 7. Who knows? Um, Windows Phone 7 Series 7 Phone 7. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, apparently, people have found that they're, they're seeing uh, up to 50 megabytes a day. Yeah, of just, just random Just nonsense. random stuff uplo random uploaded. Bad. Nobody knows what. I don't think anything new has come no. of that yet. Um, and it, for people with the 2 gigabyte plan or... God, if you got a 250 megabyte plan, you're oh, screwed. Oh, you're done. Yeah. yeah, you're all these overages. That's uh, um, that's definitely a problem that's going to have to be addressed. Yeah. So, uh, so there you go. Although, although interesting on the Windows Phone side, have you seen these commercials for the Xbox interoperability? No. Uh, they're they're really pushing the Xbox connectedness. Yeah. And being that they're like the number one console, uh, more or less, um, that's going to be a big push for their phone. I think. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the uh, the Kinect is, is being pretty fantastic. So, and, something simple enough as like an avatar yeah. on the phone. So yeah. it's, it's all about selling people on the experience. So if you have the Xbox yeah. 360, that's you're playing games on it, you're watching movies on it, it's your media center, mm -hmm. it's your everything, and then you have a Windows Phone 7, Yeah, and everything works together. And it's uh, it's it's just one of those things where you get sucked into a brand, mm -hmm. such as the Sharp Edge Beast Row and Pen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm currently nice. Where are we up to five now? Yep. Sucking on their pyrot at the moment. The pyrot. How the is the pyrot? The pyrot is delicious. Yeah, I'm always a big fan. Um, I can I can actually pimp the sharp edge. I keep pointing over there because that camera's still that camera's blind. But I've got yes. this guy. Yeah, yeah, there. This go. guy here. <laughs> A lot of people don't know. If you go to Sharp Edge, any Sharp Edge, mm -hmm. Mystery Beard, right? Yeah, it's like four fifty. Okay, and it will be a craft beer of some kind. You're not gonna get like a Miller Lite. Sorry if you're into water beer. I'm not apologizing. Um, <laughs> well, the classic but, girls like Miller Lite, right? No. 
No? No? That's no. what I hear. What, what kind of classy smell? girls are you hanging out with? No one no. likes Miller Lite. No, 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 no. The classy girls oh. are angry at me now. Well, Although, it is triple hot. It is triple hot. Triple hot. <laughs> I don't believe that for an instant. <laughs> Wait, we have, a beer. we have a beer expert here. Why don't you come over here? Beer and, and, and Come here, snob. Right. Come here, Come tell us, help, help us, us out. Again, we got a seat yeah. right here. We just squeeze you in. But, uh, I was so, going to show Chachi's Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first appearance well, of Father's Food on the show. Oh, How you doing? Me. Wonderful. I think uh, we last, so you we, you were together with us on uh, at PodCam. Yes. Uh, on, on on the We're Still Here panel. Mm -hmm. So it was very appropriate that you showed up with us tonight. Hey, my beer just got here. Is that your beer just got here? What are you drinking at the moment? That is the Silly Saison. Silly Saison. Okay. He says it's a silly blend of awesomeness. Uh, silly blend. Well, well, there we go. Oh, yes, thank you. Right it here. is appropriate. So, we have some questions for you, uh, um, mainly <laughs> pertaining uh, to Miller Lite. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was we? What's happening? Um, I mean, these are going to be very simple answers. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, is it triple hot? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's because all what I, you can do that's is it. that's all I got. You, because what you can do is now. You're not going to buy this at the Sharp Edge Bistro. No, downtown you're Pittsburgh. not. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, hey. Well, we get a, we're ringing a bell every time it goes up. All right. All right. All right. So what we what we figure Miller probably does is you get three hop cones and go one, <laughs> two, uh -oh, wait, three. That's uh, it. Triple hop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's actually just like playing Angry Birds. They have a little catapult. <laughs> yeah. Fling it back. And then, well, they, they don't use the one because then when you hit it, it splits into three. So there you go. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, the little birds. But I, I am addicted to angry birds also. Who is it? Yeah. Who is well, it? that's all the questions we have for you. We well, have a, have wait, wait. Oh, okay. I thought you were asking a question. Yeah, I didn't know I, we established the hand raise rule. Although, <laughs> thank you for joining us here at the table at yeah, the Sharp Edge Bistro. At the Sharp Edge Bistro. On, on Penn Avenue, Penn Avenue that Avenue. does not serve Miller Lite. Downtown Pittsburgh. Yes. 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 Not and if you do find Miller Lite, they will ridicule you at other Sharp Edge Really? Establishments, yes. Nice. Well, this place specializes in Belgian beer, yes. right? And there's other nationalities. Yes, they have sort. quite a quite a selection. So the the mystery beer thing. Yes. Uh, if you are a connoisseur of beers, it's pretty expensive, right? You know? Yeah, yeah. Flip through a menu of tasty beers. You can get expensive here. Yes. It can get pretty expensive. Okay. Nice thing about a mystery beer, you are getting some kind of beer. They're not going to tell you who it is, because the only people who know who the mystery beer is is a mystery man. <laughs> but they will tell you what kind of beer it is. Serious, it's a guy with a question mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No jokes. Um, so you get a good beer for cheap. I'll never tell you what it is. Guaranteed tasty though. So if you're into beer and you don't know, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can still come on down to Sharpen. Get a lot of beer. Bistro on Penn. Yeah. Yeah. Bistro on Penn. Sharp Dang. And I, sharp I bet you if you find Scott and you offer him one of the Dutters. Yeah. We'll do it. I'll I tell you what it is. Has Scott taken a Dutters yet? No, we've offered it to him several times. He Scott. said later. Okay. Yeah, poor guy. I know. So, so yeah, there's some. He doesn't know that's part of his tip. Mm. No. <laughs> no. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what else? Sharp edge bistro. Well, while we're here, uh, we're <laughs> ding. <laughs> while we're here, uh, they say we're, we're celebrating a five-year-old podcast today, sure. the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Sure. And we have another long-standing podcaster with us, Father Spoon. Pimp your stuff. Come on. Pimp my stuff. Yeah. Where, your stuff. where are you? Sharp Edge Bistro. Sharp Edge Bistro <laughs> on Penn Ave. <laughs> on Penn Avenue, yes. Man, we're racking that up. Seven or eight. Here you go. <laughs> Yeah, Actually, we're going to hit our uh, our five year on Cinco de Mayo this year. That's oh, right. That's that is right. dangerous. Ooh. It's extremely dangerous. Bad stuff's going to happen, <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably going to involve four loco. Oh, <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Really, I may or may not be in possession of some. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. how much Ooh. is some? contraband these enough days. to power my car? <laughs> <laughs> if I was in Virginia. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. No, so, so what, what's you know? You've been around five years. How, how have you done it? How do you keep it going? I drink a lot of beer. You drink a lot of beer. Okay. Well, you would do that anyhow. Yeah, yeah. That kind of goes pretty much a given. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but for those that don't know, uh, I do have a craft beer podcast. Wow, there's a lot of cameras around here too. Yeah, yeah. There there is. Is. You're, on, you're, you're on the one. With don't the pay light. attention to that one. Okay, watching this one. There we go. 
Uh, so yeah, we do have a craft beer podcast, myself and uh, Sick Puppy. Mm-hmm. It's called Should I Drink That? Should I Drink That? Com. Uh, we review craft beers and the craft beer scene around Western Pennsylvania, mostly around Pittsburgh. And, uh, yeah, we drink a lot of great beers, a lot of bad beers. <laughs> Go to a lot of beer fests. You may or may not get intoxicated. That's, that's right. That's a plus to the whole drink experience. It so we don't have to. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Well, I should throw you a couple of bucks to throw out our tagline. There you go. Like Down here at the Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn. Yes. <laughs> I like the thing. The ding is nice. But uh, I think part of our longevity is just that we have fun doing it. Okay. Uh, we try to keep it fresh. Uh, it's kind of tough now because there's about a half hour, 45 minutes between myself and Sick Puppy, mm-hmm. uh, location wise, and I've got two kids now, so <laughs> trying to find that time. Makes to, it a little tough. Trying to find time to drink. I know the and, feeling. I have Chachi. Chachi's like having three kids. Yeah. All connected. <laughs> what can I say? Hey, I can. I, I could probably kill you with a hair in you. You probably could. What? <laughs> That's rough. That's almost. Um, uh, but uh, it's, we just we keep it fresh. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that keeps going on with craft beer in Pittsburgh. There's yeah. uh, three or four new breweries that are actually popping up within the next year. And uh, it's, as long as there's beer to drink, I mean, I, we have a I show. Think, I think that's a that's a secret. Like with the wrestling show, with the with the awesome cast, there's always news. You know, it, it's there's something that's always developing. Somebody's always coming out with something or doing something stupid in wrestling. So uh, you know, uh, beer yeah. drinkers are always doing something. And then beer drinkers, especially. Yeah. I mean. You know, have you seen the, the Elvis? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a you know a stigma that all of us have. Is that there's always some stupid people out there. Mm. They're ruining our names, but uh, there's a lot of good people too. They're doing really great things with craft beer, especially in Pittsburgh too. And we want everyone to know about it. It's kind of an aside because I've actually personally wanted to ask you, what do you think of the the, the beer show uh, that just came on? Is it Dogfish Head as a reality show? Oh, Brewmasters. Brewmasters. I thought yeah, that was yeah. a great series. Yeah. Uh, I think Discovery had their heads up their butts, switching their the time oh. around. <laughs> The first three episodes had three different time for, times that it was out. Yeah. And then the uh, sixth episode won't come out till I believe, sometime later this month or in February. Mm-hmm. And then that's it. So they put about five or six weeks in between the fifth episode and the sixth episode. Mm. And nobody really knows what's going to happen with the series. Uh, Dogfish is kind of staying quiet about it. Discovery won't say anything. But I really hope they stick with the time slot because there's a lot of people that were talking about it. And it's, the series was filled perfect. Unfortunately, they made it look like every day something goes wrong at the brewery. Yeah. Every day we're dumping, you know, they're dumping five hundred thousand dollars worth of beer. That doesn't happen all the time. It's just when the cameras are around, apparently. And I think some of it was embellished too, but whatever. It's I mean, it shows what the you know the little guys on the the food chain there go through uh, with craft beer, and you know, but also a lot of the stuff that they do that the bigger breweries won't do. You know, Sam's going to uh, Egypt mm-hmm. to find you know a piece of wood or whatever you know to put into. Uh, his beer, he, you know, he has a, a little petri dish out there to catch, you know, any kind of whatever he's playing in his beer. I forget which episode it was, but it's a lot of his episodes. He's traveling all around the world, though, to pick up different <laughs> ingredients to use and authentic ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of his beers, I believe, uh, wasn't brewed for over 7,000 years. And he brewed it. I mean, that's one of the cool things with craft beer. They're not afraid to change. Is it triple hot? <laughs> it was triple spit, I think, on one of them. <laughs> they, they, they would chew up the corn and they would spit it back out. Oh, nice. That's you fantastic. would like that. Yeah, yeah. Really like that. that kind of guy. It does sound right up Because you were talking yeah. about swapping spit all night. Right. So. Well, do you want to make out? Uh, <laughs> dude, I did on the subway on the way over. Sorry, man. He's been like working this catchphrase or something. You you know, make I, out? I just wanted to point out that my laptop looks the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. But mine apparently has an Bang. awesome cast sticker. Uh, awesome right there, sticker. right there. That is, that's a lot. Which, that's completely. No, it's this side. Look at that. Yeah, that's but right there. The fat heads. The fat yeah, heads. There I like that one. Fat heads. See, I'm Bingo. partial to the light bulb. <laughs> yep. I, I'm a big light fan. Light bulb of that and crossbones. Yeah, I like that. That's Pirates cool. dilemma. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Triple hop. Triple hop. Triple hop. Triple hop. Just about everything's triple hop uh, at some point. Uh, some cast is triple hop. Are we? Yeah. Triple hops. It's kind of like saying, my car takes gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> I filled it three times this week. Oh, no kidding. Water All right. is wet. Sure. <laughs> Water's wet. It crunches your thirst. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. Well, well Spoon, uh, thanks for being on. Hey, thank you. And, and you're, you're in the neighborhood anytime you're free to get away from the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the parents are laughing at themselves right now, too. <laughs> he doesn't get out. Malango, you want to come up here? No. No? You know what? Come on, man. Come on up. Join us at the Sharp Come Edge Bistro. Come on down. You know, something we completely uh, forgot to talk about last week. Uh, and if, 
<laughs> you gotta do the screaming. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, something we didn't talk about last week because I completely forgot. Um, but we did a test. If you stayed tuned after the show last week, there, or if you found the, the link on YouTube, uh, we tested Skype on 3G. Oh, yeah. oh, you're not gonna play this, are you? No, we're not gonna play like, it. You know, it'd be a shame People if you tried <laughs> to do that on the Verizon iPhone. I would. Yeah, because if know, you got a call, it'd be gone. If you got a call, exactly. your call would be interrupted. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but it, it worked out pretty well. It, um, it, 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 Skype still saps your battery like a, like yeah, another. Um, <laughs> but uh, but but you got to uh, uh, show us Giant Eagle last week. Yeah, I walked your around phone. Giant Eagle using Skype. Uh, I walked by a couple customers that did not know they were being filmed, which is always good. It's legal. Uh, probably not. As, <laughs> as I'm walking by the manager, I'm like, this probably is legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably get kicked out. But luckily, we're not in Germany. So, um, but it worked out pretty good. And I know that's a big thing. Is like ever since FaceTime, we're like, is this something we can use? Yeah. Uh, like you know, for the shows, oh, for yeah, for on the spot. It's like, hey, I'm going down to the whatever to cover, and yeah. here we are. And because I found this dude. Good. Yeah, yeah the, qual the quality yeah. on three G. Uh, yeah, I'll pipe it into our system. Our system could be better, of course. Um, it, you know, that seems like a real alternative, and I really want to punch that 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 lady from uh, T-Mobile. Yeah. Every time now. <laughs> Every time. Really annoying. Um, so, so yeah, um, we, we, we played with a little bit in the office too. Yeah, we did. From uh, bottom basement to the top of the office. <laughs> I like I like to give tours. Uh, you too. You do. Well, you did the same thing when FaceTime came out for the for the Mac. Like yeah. like I sat down on your computer and and you walked through the office. Well, how long um, did that take us to set up? By the way. I thought it was gonna complain to Steve Jobs. Uh, oh yeah. Well, we, but, uh, yeah, because it, it's really it was really finicky when you're on the Mac. Yeah. So definitely. Well, I have a couple of gaming stories here. So I, well, first, what do you think of the Angry Birds board game coming out? I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Are you gonna choke yes. on pieces like I am? I will not choke on any pieces. Yeah. But uh, what if chicken flavored? <laughs> See, if, why if would they... you make <laughs> Why would you make plastic pigs flavored? <laughs> because it's a great idea. <laughs> Everything should be bacon flavored. Not wrong. He's not, He's not wrong. Yeah. Speaking of bacon, there, wasn't there a bacon flavored beer? Here. Uh, is there? No, I don't know about here. Here? At I've the heard Sharp of it, Edge though. Bistro Doug. on Penn? Oh, I can't. Missy! Yeah. Missy! Yeah. You, need, you need a dig. <laughs> can you, you dig the glass? There, there, you go. Go. there we go. There we go. We're good. You can I get, think uh, that's halfway you can now. Get hey, Doug. Bacon bourbon. Is there a I bacon, bacon beer? I'm sure somebody There's makes it. Smoke beer. Smoked beer. That tastes like bacon. Fair, close enough. Hey, yeah, there's vodka. A, it's, wow. not it's not good at all. It's not good at all. I know there's a, there's a, there's a bacon cookie. And there's bacon bourbon. Oh, and I had bacon popcorn. <laughs> sitting sitting bacon waiting popcorn. to get home. Bacon popcorn at home. Well, that's not doing us any good here. No. And bacon salt. I know, you bacon salt, yeah. Bacon. And bacon mayonnaise. So while we're talking about pork, I wanted to... <laughs> The cops in this house. <laughs> so I get this email from Justin.tv. <laughs> okay. Like which I sucked to last week. Okay. Uh, and they say, we noticed your last broadcast was exactly. Uh, yeah. We would have been for this show. Yeah, it would have been. Uh, why not broadcast again today? It's new. You know what, Justin.tv? Good job. Branding. Good there job. There you go. There you go. Get this would be when there. we do a week. Thank that's, you very much. It's just like Zappos. A year after I bought my sneakers, they send me an email to tell me that sneakers that I bought are in uh, if I want to replace them. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Of them. Blew my mind. The Justin's, yeah. the Justin TV's the Zappos. There you go. Getting smart. Getting smart. Well, <laughs> so Angry Birds, <laughs> the world. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Four yeah. games, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, well, the other thing I had here was uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, m massively multiplayer online. Uh, you're like, where am I going with this? Yeah. I know. I, I see that look. Um, what are we doing? Loader. More pick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lord of the Rings was a pay MMO, much like World of Warcraft. It was pretty popular uh, for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it was pretty popular. I, I played a little bit of the demo no in free trial. Class. It was all right. You know, it's like, oh, cool. Lord of the Rings. You know, I'm kind of into that. Whatever. Uh, I'm not. I wasn't going to keep my life and pay for it. No. Um, yeah, they go to the World of Warcraft players. <laughs> um, hey, went I've been clean for about six months now. Good job. 
Do you have your coin? Didn't you, didn't you give up women for Warcraft for a little bit there? Oh, no, he gave up men for Warcraft. Oh, okay. That's okay. That was. That's right. right. Don't confuse the two. Warcraft doesn't argue with me. No, I'm just throwing it out there. Warcraft doesn't talk back. Right. Okay. Um, there we go. Sure, you have to do a lot of escort missions, but it doesn't talk back. And that's when the room got quiet. Yes. <laughs> that's when everybody, we, got, we brought everybody uh, back in to the tech show. You know why World of Warcraft has two black eyes? Because you talking about escort. <laughs> yep. Because it didn't listen the first time. Uh, okay. okay. Go on. Uh, anyway, <laughs> the point is, uh, they went free and yeah. tripled its revenue. Wait, the on live? <laughs> no, they, they went free and tripled their revenue. Wow. Yes. How? What is? Is there? I don't know where it goes from there. Is it in game purchase or is it ad based? I think it's in game purchases, much like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the farm bill. A lot more people are starting. There's uh, that book by uh, Chris Anderson, the guy from Wired Magazine, about the model of free. Yeah. The, the free book, and he talks about, it. and it's basically like a lot of people are starting to understand that it's funny, but when you make things free, you can make more money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like Angry Birds. Yeah. Angry Birds. Yeah. Farm bill, absolutely. Uh, Angry Birds for the Android is mega. What was uh, what was the difference between the uh, iPhone and Android? How much they made? Uh, I thought they were making more on the it's Android. It's some absurd it's amount of money, and on yeah. Android, it's ad supported and free. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Cool stuff. Yeah, it's it's by like some astronomical million dollar dollar figure. Um, of course, we're seeing EA's playing with this. They're putting like some sports titles online and, for um, free. Speaking of, of of tripling sales, so uh, back to the Mac App Store for a minute. So. Um, Instapaper, not Instapaper. Um, notes. Evernote. Evernote. Oh, yeah. Who is also free down yeah. here at Sharp Edge awesome. Bistro on Pen. <laughs> the pro version of Evernote. <laughs> yes. Um, and all that. But anyway, Evernote tripled the amount of users they had in one day because they're on the Mac App Store. On the first day when everybody was checking day. it out. Yep. Oh. Yeah, they tripled their users. They've been around for a long time. Several wow. years, they tripled their users in a day because of the Mac Store. So anybody who says, you're not going to get any traffic from the Mac App Store, uh, tighten your belt, kids. It's going to be a rough ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so now I'm wondering when I can get my uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold app on the Mac App Store. Um, but because there's definitely more Macs out there than there are on iPhones. I'm wondering, are they going to make you pay for all of your apps that you've already purchased? Well, I think I don't think we're going to have the crossover. No, there's no crossover because it's there's resolution independence and stuff. So you buy it for. There are apps that work on the iPhone and the iPad. But I don't think there's going to be any translation into OS X. Mm -hmm. so you will be buying things. Again. Yes, but it will be a different app. <laughs> that is the only thing. Is like, do I really want to pay five dollars again for Ang Angry Birds? I haven't even bought it for the iPod iPad yet. It'll be here. It'll be bigger. Yeah, but then I can't. Then I want to touch my screen. <laughs> and I'll get all fingerprinting like my iPad. Mm -hmm. So that's a problem. You've you know? got to get that uh, that screen cleaner I told you about. A screen cleaner? Like 30 episodes ago. 30 episodes ago. What episode are we on? I have, well, this is 33, I believe. So there you go. That's, right. what I, that's what yeah, I put on Justin TV, so yeah. I, I think that's where we're at. Pretty yeah. So uh, well, she's staring at angry black people. <laughs> angry black people? It's, <laughs> no. T Pain actually, is not an angry he's black person. quite man. happy, uh, which makes me angry. Well, tell, tell us about the happy black person. Oh. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So, oh. I also got everybody's attention. So, wow. as, as we're well aware, CES was this week. Uh, CES week. was this week, yes. Right? Um, and there were some ridiculous people there. Right. There was. Um, one of which is T Pain. T Pain. Yes. T Pain. I'm on a boat. Right. I Right. I think 50 Cent was more ridiculous than yeah, that. Yeah, T-Pain, Wait, wait until yeah. you hear why T-Pain was there. <laughs> okay. Lady Gaga was there. Give me this knowledge. <laughs> Lady Gaga works for Toda. So She's a Polaroid. creative director Polaroid. for Polaroid. All right, my bad. Still well, camera we'll get to that in a second. Any kind of yours. So, he showed up All right. to plug his new toy. Sure yes. is. It's a microphone. Sure oh, is. That records your voice. Sure is. Mm -hmm. And then you hit play. Sure Yes. Is. And it auto-tunes it. Yep. Uh, there is actually... There is an interview. Retailing at thirty nine ninety nine. That's right. Look at that. There was an interview Innovation. scored by uh, uh, Steve from uh, the TechBuzz.net uh, that that I watched today, where he he was like, "Well, I don't. They don't have a release date yet because T Pain wants to make sure it's all right and everything. So because apparently a lot of stuff goes into auto tuning your voice. So it's bad. It's bad. It angers me. But like you said, <laughs> that angers you. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. Okay. Uh, Lady Gaga's Polaroid digital camera, printer, and glasses hands glasses. on here. The glasses. The glasses. Are cool. What's going on with the glasses? Uh, so it shows the pictures and the lenses. 
<laughs> really, it, it, like, like, it's outside like outside of the lenses. The, the camera or the, yeah, the, the the glasses are the camera, right? Yeah, the glasses are the camera. So really, I could be walking around, yeah. click, click. Yeah. So know? as much as we all kind of laughed at her being a creative director at Polaroid, which, which was, was announced, announced a year ago at CES, a year ago at CES, uh, and it was ridiculous. Um, I gotta see this. But uh, assuming that she actually had something to do with this, and it's not oh, just a stunt. Those, well, are those, oh those are the glasses. Those are the glasses. I'm sorry, we can't. We have, these are, of yeah. course, in delicious.com slash awesomecast, tagged with the, the yeah. show number. Um, so. But yeah, if, if that is her input, then she has contributed something to the previously dead, you know, instant they, camera. They look like something she'd be wearing on her tour, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, how wait. much was that retail for? Uh, <laughs> More than you're well, willing as to you pay know, for. The things you see at CES never <laughs> actually happened. Yes, that's true. So, that's true. But Lady Gaga did it. No, really. okay, so it'll happen, but be naked. Oh, well, she has here's a lot of my crazy question. People. Oh. All right, uh, can you see through the lenses? <laughs> I think I think that's part of what's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah so, the pic- a... so the pictures for those who like aren't through the through the review the, the, the describe for the, the people not seeing these pictures. Well, it's like. Okay. You know the goggles it lacked the that ability. Doc Brown was wearing in Back to the Future yeah. Part 2 yes. when he came to get yes. Marty after just dropping him off yes. while Biff was buffing his truck? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody knows, everybody knows exactly what you're talking about. Okay, it's kind of like that. Okay. It, it's black, and instead of being a rubber band, now, uh, it, it's actual yeah. legs. So, yeah. from Engadget, they said uh, the... Uh, the prototype at the company CES booth lacked the ability for the wearer to see anything out of it. Uh, then again, it's not clear where it ever supposed to, even after it's released later this year. But behind, behind that, the uh, the sunglass part, there's a two viewing lens camera. Yeah, basically, yeah. It's like two, two, screens. View, two screens right there, yeah. the camera's right there, and there's a button. It looks like right here. Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there's a so, I mean, on the temple issue. You can yeah. hypothetically see <laughs> yeah. these glasses by right. taking pictures. By right. taking a lot of them. A lot of pictures. And like, from the looks of it, you can see so, it. It's live like, streaming. Like, like, You're just walking around <laughs> going like this. <laughs> there you go. go. It's like All the right. Cyclops visor thing going right. on. Yeah. Did you hear about the uh, <laughs> the snow goggles? No. They, no. Uh, they made some for uh, snowboarding, or I guess skiing. Ski goggles. Where you can wear them and it takes a picture of you going down. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is useful. That's like That's the new helmet. helmet. So as you go into a tree, you can... Uh, <laughs> right. So we'll know exactly what happens. Does it automatically time. upload to YouTube? I do not know that. Because if you go into a tree, that's yeah. a function you need to have. What, what, kind, of, what kind of reception are you really going to get on, on the map? <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, as long as it's not I mean, using not. Verizon. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and as long as you don't get a phone call and your goggles at the same time. You know, we are that should be okay. Just bringing it back. Maybe. The thing is, you can't kill. I'm sorry, we're back to the Verizon thing. But you can't kill phone calls. I mean, I can kill data so it doesn't interrupt the phone call, doesn't interrupt when I'm watching a video, listening to music. You can't uh, re- phone re- calls. With, with, I, Sometimes I have a recorder app for what, as a backup when we're doing interviews. Right. But you can't kill somebody calling you on the phone. Right. You want to know why? Why? It's a cell phone. <laughs> It is a phone, by basis. So well, they're forcing us into this antiquated technology. Oh man, there's there there's a question though. Like if you if you have the option between your AT and T and Verizon phone, yeah. which one do you go to then? It yeah. still makes it seem What's like more you're AT and T one. Unless you're in New York City or San Francisco, and then AT and T is saturated, and Verizon isn't. Until everybody jumps to Verizon, do then it. they can complain about it. All Jump the way. shit. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go away. Go, go ahead. I'm good. Network. I'm good. I'll get the Verizon and the iPhone <laughs> 5. Damn kids, get off my thing. network. Is the iPhone 5 going to come out for it when we get it on AT&T? No, like three years later. It's uh, like three. It, it's going to, iPhone 5 is going to come out now. White iPhone. <laughs> Verizon. They do get the white iPhone. They, assuming it, somebody pictures. actually receives it. Verizon but is getting the white unicorn. If you go to Verizon to order the phone, to pre-order the phone, you have the option of getting white iPhone. But have you seen pictures yet? <laughs> Not in someone's hand. Nobody, I'll believe it when it actually hits yeah. the streets. Well, nobody was, what did, they, did they have on hand the, the, the phones themselves? The white iPhones? No, no, the phones in general. No, okay. it was all 
on projectors. Okay. Okay. So well, they well they did have dem dem. Why would they? Everyone's seen an iPhone. They had demo units, but I didn't see. This is a little bit different. I didn't see anything. It's an iPhone. It's an iPhone. It's got a little bit different hardware in it, and they changed the antenna. End of story. And that's it. That's that's the whole story there. Jesse. Jesse. <laughs> All right, on that note, is there anything else we want to cover before we get out of here today? Spying um, ain't easy. What? Spying, spying, ain't, spying ain't easy. It will be when your glasses have a camera. Yes. yes. Not if you can't see through them. <laughs> That's true. Also, if you're blocking in the walls, I think they will well pick out. If you can't spy. see through the glasses, you're not spying. Yes. That's rats. true. That's true. <laughs> Fantastic. You will understand why you were in the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Um, what was that movie where, where they could get the last moments of somebody's life by reaching into their eyeballs? Nobody, nobody remembers this? No? No, not my eye report. Was that? Is it G.I. Joe? They could pull their last thoughts out of their brain. Did they do that in Minority Report, too? I don't think they did a Minority Report. Yeah, yeah. They did it in Stargate. Was that on G.I. Stargate? Okay, so this is really kind of a reoccurring topic. Yeah, yeah. Every movie has it somewhere. All right, all right. Okay, anyway. So, thank you for joining us live here at the Sharp Edge Bistro on Pen. On Pen. I have... Ding it! Bang! Ding! Thank you. So, uh... <laughs> Sharp Edge Deep Bistro? I've got news. You've got news? Remember? I've got news. Oh, yeah, yes, news. Oh, the news! Got that you, news. we've been teasing I've for like a month. I've got freaking news. news. You've got freaking I news. I haven't been able to say anything. I got a new job. Good thing you're sitting down. Rob got a new job. New job. Thank you! Thank you. He is, he is now a lifelong podcaster. <laughs> uh... Yeah, and you're paying me, right? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I got a new job that does not involve toxic chemicals. Yay! Right? Um, yeah, does yeah. not involve... Poo? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> does not involve uh, life-threatening implements of doom. <laughs> namely, exacto knives. I still can't feel my thumb tip. Um, no more severed lump pieces. Uh, no more um, lowering my principles and standards okay. every uh, day. Do you have to keep... Working. Do you have to continue... <laughs> <laughs> do you Can have we to, say that? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have to continue... Continue keeping your phone in a plastic bag at work. No. Yes. That's plus. You know what? <laughs> Is that you getting applause for that? Oh, I did. Yeah. Phone Oops. sitting next to me on silent, but sitting next to me. Hello, Twitter. Twitter. Okay. Uh, I have gone from being a uh, prototype builder slash product. Your title was designer. this long. You're the, it's a big stupid thing. Um, for a company that I can't really talk about, but they're awful. Um, <laughs> ask me Stark some Stark other industry. time if you want Stark Industries. Were you working for Iron yeah. Man? <laughs> no, I wasn't working for Iron Man. But I am now, um, I am a tactical, Batman? wait, 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 wait. Tactical. Uh -oh. Tactical <laughs> technician. <laughs> What do you build tanks? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there is a tank in the logo. <laughs> wow. Do you work for the government? No, I don't. I don't. I um, are you Iron Skynet? Man? I am Iron Man <laughs> <laughs> and Skynet in so, one one thing. There you go. That's all me. Wait, um, any robot? <laughs> um, so I'll be working for Ion Tank. Ion Tank. Which you've never heard of before. No. Yeah. They're a local company like a few blocks from my house, which is nice. Nice. Um, and they do interactive trade show display stuff. <laughs> so I spent the last week when I was talking about fatigue from using touch screens. Yeah. It was because I was configuring 42 inch uh, audio touch. <laughs> Did you break your iPad or what? No, no, I'm loading up IonTank.com. Oh, good luck. It's a static hey, look, JPEG. That's where you work. <laughs> that's where I work. Which, so. <laughs> tell me which desk is yours because that's uh, all I can see. <laughs> oh, they, there's, there's more to it. Oh, dude, they have a couch. They have a couch with touch screens on it. <laughs> We're working this into the studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> IonTank.com. Wow. And they got Legos. Do they actually um, do work here? Yes. I don't think they do work here. <laughs> they do quite a bit of work. So they do. Um, What's the ladder for? <laughs> they develop. <laughs> it's just general. It's a whole big empty warehouse space with desks and everything. This doesn't. This, 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 so they do uh, interactive are you sure displays not for trade porn shows. Here? We're not shooting porn. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, big touchscreen interfaces. Uh, they built a custom trackball 
thing. They did a, a schizophrenia simulator, which was kind of a big deal. They were using plasma TVs before plasma TVs hit the consumer market. Wow. Yeah. So um, you're going to be able to come in here and tell us all these awesome toys. That can they rock a with? basically? Yeah. Can, can they rock a cool game of Monster Madness on a Mega Touch? Sure. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Fantastic. Uh, so I'm doing that, and Ooh. but wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> Second Sorry. floor of this building. If you might have heard of them. Cotton Factory. Cotton Factory. Never heard of them. Local T-shirt company. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. heard of them. They uh, they sell T-shirts online. They kind of they're a threadless sketch. Like a busted I'm afraid of what kind of Cotton of, uh, Factory is uh, going to bring up. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's safe, but I'll be uh, helping them out with their social media marketing stuff when I'm when I have free time for my because they're both owned by the same guy in the same building. Cool. And I get to travel. You get to travel. Yeah. Uh, at, so to make up for it being two blocks away, you get to travel. I do get to travel because whenever there's a shirt. yeah, you didn't get a tank. What's that? Oh. So wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. I was gonna say I don't want their shirts. They were just colors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to travel on a tank. Oh, that's, 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 you get no. to travel on a tank. But uh, wherever there's a trade show, next week they're going to Orlando. Wow. Stuff like that. Disney World. All around the country, and, cool. and I get bonuses for traveling and stuff. Nice. But sweet. places you want to go. Places I want to go. As opposed to my company, yeah. we send people to the middle of nowhere in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I like that yeah. one. Yeah. You get cool Slovakia. Stuff. Yeah. In Slovakia. I mean, so. really. <laughs> Who wants to go? Hey, uh, vacation no. time. You're going to Serbia and Slovakia. Two fur. By the way, they hate each other. Yes. Um, so, uh, so don't mention where you just came from. So if you see me on Don't awesome, mix up the scripts between the two. They get oh, bang, they good. get angry. So if you see me on awesome cast with like random stuff behind me that looks strange, I'm probably at Ion Tank working late. Oh yeah? Huh. There you go. And they, they automatically have a free plug on awesome cast just like the That's Sharp right, Edge Bistro. From the Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn Avenue. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Ching. There you go. Oh, we have a question yeah. in the chat. What, what's going on? Wrap up. What's that? Um, someone wants to know if you were surprised the PlayStation phone wasn't officially announced. Not surprised it wasn't announced because nobody really knew it was real. Yeah. Who, who asked it? Uh, Zola, Knight. Zola, Zola Knight. Zola Knight, who uh, was on the Mayhem show last week in the chat room. That is, still, as far as I know, that is still completely yeah. far off in rumor territory. There, there's, there's video of Secrets. one working with an yeah. emulator of Resident Evil 2. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe that. Yeah, sure. So absolutely, I'm betting all my money on we that. We actually one. have one here at the Sharp Edge Beast from. We do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you come sure here thing. now, you can play with it. Right. Yeah. Don't you wish you came to the live show in this it and play? I mean, make out with and shot you. <laughs> <laughs> You are at the Sharp Edge Bistro on Penn. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap this up. Alright, we're gonna wrap this up. Chachi, what's going on with you? Nothing. Alright, not even <laughs> this sweet sweater, that's what's going that's, on. That's a sweet sweater this from going on. Indonesia. You do have a project. Can we talk about that? Yeah, not a thing. Not, no, no, we're not allowed to project. No. Okay, there's a super secret project that he'll announce on a super. Not a doing anything episode. ever. <laughs> no. No. There's nothing going on in this. Uh, I think just not all exist. we can say is there's is nothing. stay tuned to February. No, it'll be announced before that. I just be, can't talk no, no, about well, it yet. no, no. I mean, mark a date and like leave February open. The, the whole month. month. Yeah, whole Do month. nothing but Yeah, because you don't know. Them. They don't know. Yeah. And we want to make sure they're available yes. in case we have to switch dates. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on Valentine's Day. Especially on Valentine's Day. No, it's actually before that. Oh, well, so <laughs> I can't say anything oh. else. Oh, well, the first half of February then. <laughs> there you go. We can narrow it down. What Let's else cross it off. Um... All right, that's that's you. Chachi right. says dot net. You have episodes up there every once in a while. Right. Um, we'll get we'll get it. We'll get we'll, one up. We'll get week. one up. Yeah. 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 Rob, what's going on with you? Uh, Other than you your fantastic new job. New job. Yeah. <laughs> Are you doing anything? <laughs> For anybody who knows how much I've complained about my previous job. Oh, oh we know. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, we you know. know. This is kind of a, uh, a BFD, big freaking deal, if you will. Yeah. So. Um, otherwise, um, so happy tweets, happy, happy tweets, happy little tweets, happy little tweets at Rob J D L C at R O B J D L C on Twitter, R O B J D L C dot com, um, uh, shens dot R O B J D L C dot com for my Tumblr. Oh yeah, if you're into that. Facebook R O B J D L C. I've never seen your Tumblr. If you're looking for me, it's yeah. you've never seen my Tumblr. I don't think I have. I, I have right. blog there consistently. Is it on your? That is the only blog that I actually maintain. <laughs> Fantastic. Live dot R O B J D L C dot com. My actual blog 
haven't updated since last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making efforts. I had like three or four blogs last week. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're doing this. We're doing yeah. this. But yeah, if you want to see my stuff, uh, ROBJ DLC on the internet. Excellent. There you go. Blango? Blango, what's happening with you? Uh, comic strips. That's all I do. That's all he does. That's all I do. Bangtunes.com, animationwhat.com. Uh, Good stuff. Are we on slow clap? clap? Yeah? Yeah. 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 Get it going. There you go. <laughs> Should I drink that dot com? He's yes, not I here, but uh, thanks to Scott at the Sharp Edge Bistro on yeah. Penn. Thanks, yeah. Scott. Thanks to Sharp Edge for hosting us. They've been great. Card back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big thanks to uh, at Mindy Min on Twitter for helping us set this up. Oddly, she's not here tonight. I think that's a sign. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, of course, uh, SorgatronMedia.com for everything we got going on, including yep. announcements for him, not announcements for his job. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and all that and uh, I'm at sorgatron.com at sorgatron we'll see you guys next week That's you guys it. have been our awesome audience <laughs>